think I've just found the answer to the question that everyone has been asking since ChatGPT was released. How do we get our businesses recommended when people ask for the best option in ChatGPT? <clears throat> it's a little bit like uh, SEO for AI, right? Now, the reason we haven't been able to solve this problem is us SEO guys, we have been probably being a little bit too technical. You see, original SEO was all about, you know, structuring the website and doing all the schema and the metadata and all that sort of stuff. And we thought that that's what we needed to do to be ranked in AI. But what I've found is it's actually the opposite. So I reverse engineered AI to come up with an answer on how do we rank? I've gone to AI and I've asked it, how do we get you to recommend our brand uh, when someone asks for it? But what I found was you can't just sort of ask it directly. You need to ask it in a specific set of prompts. So I've got those prompts here. I'm going to show you exactly what I did to unlock how you can get your business recommended in AI. And it is a lot easier than you think. So let's jump into ChatGPT and I'll show you what I mean. What we want to do first is we want to ask ChatGPT, you know, who's already ranking in your category. So in my world, we sell coffee concentrate in Australia. So I'm going to ask it, what are the top 10 coffee concentrate brands in Australia, okay? By doing this, we're gonna see who it's recommending and, and who it ranks, right? So it's gone to the web, it's doing all its bits, it's doing the normal thing that we'd be used to. Okay, so you can see here, uh, it's given us sort of the top seven, uh, well, not strictly concentrates. Okay, so it's given us a whole heap, but interestingly, my brand is not in here, right? So these are all the big guys. So. Currently, we're not being recommended in AI. So now we want to do a little bit of a follow up question. We're going to ask it. How did you come up with these results? By doing this, we're getting an understanding of what ChatGPT does to you know, get the right results and how it sort of puts them together. So firstly, we can see that it used a targeted Australian web search. So I went to the web and it used sort of the top keywords. This is basic 101 SEO and ChatGPT is going and doing that. Okay, then secondly, it referenced independent roundups. So it searched the web, but it's actually found other places that are recommending brands and it's starting to join these two together. It then went into category specific sites. So it looked at different sites to see whether or not they, uh, they reference sort of the independent sites and the web search. And then it's even gone into very specific industry news. And then it filtered it out for relevance to see that, you know, were the results that they captured relevant. So what ChatGPT is doing here is it's starting with a web search. It's then going out and spreading its wings a little bit. It's going to industry sites. It's going to reference sites. It's going to news sites. And then it's using its generative AI engine to pull it all together to come up with the best results. So it's touching lots of places across the web. So let's go to the next bit. And this is the part where we're going to ask why they didn't recommend your brand. What about Dose, which is the name of my brand? Okay, so it's telling me why I didn't appear in the top 10. Dose didn't appear in the current public top 10 lists I pulled from the review and product ranking sites, mainly because these list-based brands with high retail presence or high heavy mainstream distribution. This doesn't mean Dose isn't competitive, quite the opposite. Um, here's why it's not on those generic lists. Okay, so it's giving us reasons. All right, so one, uh, most top coffee concentrate lists in Australia are dominated by the big products. Uh, the reach of this product, so the distribution reach and the recency in market, okay? All right, so then it's given us some insight about our product, so this is how we stack up. Now, it says opportunity for inclusion. This is where it's gonna to start to tell us what we need to do to rank. All right, so first few things it tells us is get into review platforms. So we wanna send products to these sites, it's telling us exactly the sites to send it to. Um, boost retail marketplace, so sell in you know other places, like sell it on Amazon or eBay, that's a really interesting one. Uh, encourage customer reviews in public spaces. So rather than just review on our store, review in other places. Then it says, if you like, I can map out a PR and SEO strategy to get dosed into the top Australian coffee concentrate list. Okay, so uh, interesting. Let's do one more thing. Even though it's told us this, I wanna prompt it. I just wanna get a little bit more info here. So I'm gonna type in, why didn't you include it in your list? Okay, so even though it's told us a little bit, we're just gonna ask it again. Okay, because the list I gave you wasn't my personal best of list, it was a synthesis of third-party rankings. This is where it gets really deep, guys. 
uh, and current market visibility. When I pulled Top Coffee Concentrates Roundup, I was working off published product ratings, mainstream specialty brands. Since Dost hasn't yet been featured in any of those lists um, or had broad marketplace distribution, it simply didn't appear in the data sets that I use, okay? So it's a bit like pulling Australia's top 10 cafes from a good food guy. You might know a hidden gem that's better, but they haven't been reviewed yet. That said, if we're making a quality based list of visibility, Dose would be in it there for sure, just not yet in the public rankings. All right, so what this is telling us is it thinks we're a great brand, it knows a lot about us, but no one else does, okay? so. This is not saying that we need to optimize our website for SEO and technical rankings. It's saying that we need other people to talk about us. We need to be found in you know, these publications. We need to be sold on other places to be recommended, right? So it can't just go off a single website and be like, this is the best product. It needs you know, authority and you know, links from other people to do it. So let's ask another question and see, see what we actually need to do. We're gonna get a plan in place. All right, uh, so it says, if you want, I can redo the list including dose. Well, that would just be for us. We want to actually have the uh, have the listing be for everybody. So what we're going to ask it now is what can Dost do to get listed in the top five recommendations always? Uh, let me fix my spelling. And so what should happen here? is it should give us an exact plan of what to do. Okay, so first it says, if Dose wants to consistently appear in the top five concentrate, it needs to play both the PR awareness game and the SEO content game. So this is interesting um, because those lists aren't really objective. They're usually driven by who the editors know and have tried, who ranks high in Amazon or Google, who sends out samples and press kits, who's generating review content regularly. All right, these are all things that we can do. All right, now here is the priority list that we need to do. The first one is dominate the listicle game. Okay, our goal is to be featured in every best coffee concentrates in Australia article. All right, so what we need to do is outreach to publishers, uh, send professional media kits, uh, offer some exclusives. Okay, the first one. The second one is we wanna win the SEO battles. This is where the SEO does come into play. When people search best coffee concentrate in Australia, Dost appears on page one. So when a create our own blog posts, uh, optimize our product pages, partner with high domain. So this is just SEO like I usually teach on this channel. So you should just be doing all the basics for SEO. All right, and then we've got build public review volume. This is really interesting. Get 50 to 100 five-star reviews on a Google business profile on productreview.com.au, even Amazon. All right, so these are all super simple things. So what we could probably do here is, you know, when we sell our products, instead of getting them to review on our website, maybe get them to review on these sort of third-party platforms. Super simple idea. So send them out an email with an email flow that says, please review our product. That's crazy easy. All right, and then get social proof in the right circles. Is the next one partner with 10 to 15 coffee food creators. So we can just reach out to those, send them product and recipe ideas, get your concentrate featured in cocktail and brewster competition recipes. Love that idea, that's a great one. Tap into retail and visibility be discoverable in the same places, list on Amazon AU, that's an easy one. In fact, we're already going down that path. Partner with boutique grocery chains, uh, pitch to the big bigger airlines, that's really interesting, I love that. Um, and then maintain fresh PR hooks. Okay, so this has given us everything, but at the end, this is the cool part. If you want, I can map out a 12 month dose top five domination plan um, with exact targets. Uh, yes, please map it out. All right, here's your domination plan to make sure you're consistently featured. All right, so the first month, one to three, it's doing the PR kit media creation. It's then doing initial media outreach and it's telling me who all the places are <clears throat> and it's telling me all the places to outreach to and how we should approach it. It's telling us what SEO work that we need to do. All right, and then phase two is months four to six. Uh, seed with influencers, get more reviews, and then outreach again to media. Phase three is PR. So maybe launch some flavors, do brand collabs, guest blogging. And then phase four is dominate evergreen presence. That's months 10 to 12. What metrics to track, estimated timeline. So this is like the full plan on exactly how to get recommended in AI search engines. 
Now, as you can see, it's not an overnight thing. It's one of those things that we need to work a little bit hard of. And it's not technical, it's not hard, it just takes time. And as you can see, even in the first one to three months, that's where we've got to do a lot of the work on doing the outreach and things like that. We don't need to think smarter and harder and do all this crazy technical optimization stuff. We just need to ask AI the questions and what it needs from us. And we've just got to do the things that it asks us to do. And we've got the best chance of getting recommended. I'm already starting this on my brand. I've created some blog posts. I'm already doing my PR. Uh, I'm getting listed on Amazon. I'm gonna start reaching out to influencers and sending them free products. So in a couple of months time, I'm gonna revisit this video and see whether or not this actually works. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, now's the time because I'm gonna keep posting videos. I'll keep you updated on the progress of this project.